Hi, I'm Ed Kristen from AAA Mid-Atlantic's Approved Auto Repair Department. While talking about winterizing your car, one of the things we should look at, of course, is your fuel system. The major part of your fuel system is going to start at the fuel tank, which is here just above my head. Inside most of the common cars today, you're going to have an internal fuel pump inside the fuel tank, which, of course, we can't see from out here. Uh, also, somewhere in the system, you're going to have a fuel filter. Some of them are inside the fuel tank, which is a little hard for uh, replacement by yourself. Uh, some are external, where they're relatively easy to get to. Of course, one of the things that you should also check underneath the car while you're looking at the fuel tank, just to make sure everything is good with it, is all of the lines and hoses that run back here to the tank from the engine. Underneath the hood here is where there are a lot of hoses and tubes that you just want to take and look at and make sure that you don't have any leaks or anything that's going to be a problem for you going into winter. This is the fuel supply line that comes from the fuel pump inside the fuel tank and it supplies fuel to this rail which is called the fuel rail. Now, this being a V8 engine, you have a fuel rail on this side, and then this tube goes in front of the engine to another one, just like it on the other side of the engine. Underneath that fuel rail is where you'll find your injectors. Here's one. Here's another one underneath. What you, the biggest, most important part is just to make sure that you don't have leaks. Leaks will be pretty easy to see because if it's even a really small leak, you'll start to see some deposits left from the additives in the fuel that'll start to show up around the fuel rail, especially right here where the fuel rail and the injector themselves meet. There's a little O-ring in there that's supposed to stop them from leaking. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot more that you can do with the fuel side of it at that point. Uh, then we can talk about the air filter and get a little bit of idea what you need to look at with that. Always located up in the engine compartment somewhere. Some are easy to get to, some are not. The one in this vehicle is located right here. By taking off three clips and removing the housing cover, we can get to the air filter. This, of course, is the engine side of the air filter, which doesn't look too bad. But this is the business end. This is the one where the air comes in from outside the vehicle through this air filter before it goes into the engine. As you can see, this one is obviously dirty in a large area. And I would say that this one, from what I see, should be replaced. And it's always a good idea to make sure that the air filter is in good condition. Uh, this is a new air filter give you an example of what a new one should look like. During the winter time, when the engine's going to be running, running at colder temperatures outside, it's going to run a little richer. So if I've got a dirty air filter in it, it's going to restrict the amount of air that, that is going into the engine. That can cause a number of problems. Check engine lights, running uh, performance problems, uh, just drivability problems by themselves. So it's always a good idea to have a good, clean air filter in the car. The next segment is going to be on exhaust systems.